we are so excited to share with you the brand new Revolution Display, our new high definition slimline 4 inch touchscreen. We think this combination will be fantastic across a range of application spaces, from meeting and boardrooms to high end residential, hotel suites, and many more. To give us more details on the hardware, let's head over and hear from Daniel. Thank you, Stephen. We're really excited to introduce an extension to the Revolution Button Series with a new single gang touchscreen. This is a device that's been designed to complement the Revolution Series exactly. It's a very slimline series, allowing for a slick install being only nine millimeters thick. The Revolution display is sharing the same communications module, the Duckham, on the back as we do with our other user interfaces for the Buttons and the Untumbra series. So it is supporting the same Dynet and power connection as all of our other devices. We've incorporated a temperature and humidity sensor into the station. This allows for the device to be fully functional as a HVAC interface, performing the functionality of picking up from the set point and fan speed requirements while also being an environmental sensor. We're very excited to also introduce a new method of occupancy detection. We are using what's called a time of flight sensor, which is extremely accurate and impervious to interference from other sources. So this is intended to pick up when a user is approaching, the screen will wake up and reveal the different options to the client, and then they'll be able to go through, make their selection, and then after they move away, it'll go back to a standby mode. This is important, especially when dealing with residential hotel applications, as we want to remove any light pollution that may be in the area, making sure we can go to a completely dark environment. The touchscreen itself supports millions of colors, allowing for full flexibility of picking the button colors and allowing for those colors to change with each of the button presses. We also have the option for an audible response so that when the user is going through and making their selection, their selection is confirmed by the device by an audible sound, giving them reassurance that they have actually made their request. Thank you, back to you, Stephen. Thanks, Daniel. Accompanying that stunning new hardware, the video you saw earlier showed a preview of Array, our beautiful new design language. This modular interface provides a library of more than 60 pre-created widgets, which cover navigation, lighting, climate control, curtains, blinds, fans, and a striking new visual presentation for macros. And using System Builder as the single commissioning tool, Array helps you to quickly and consistently create beautiful digital user interfaces for your customers. And with a brand new screen design interface in System Builder, during commissioning, you can simply drag widgets from the library, which satisfyingly snap onto an invisible grid on the screen. To show you how that works and get a demo, let's head upstairs and hear from Phil for all the detail. The touchscreen on the Revolution display has 16 touch points per page. And this image that I've got on the screen here is showing basically where those 16 touch points are. So when you're going to start with a, with a design, you would typically start with a home page. So to demonstrate this, I've got PowerPoint open and System Builder. So we can look at what we talked about in the PowerPoint in the diagrams, and then we can visualize that with System Builder. So this is the home page. I'll build the home page here. First, I go to the widget gallery and I need some widgets. I need a lights widget. Now, if I go into lighting, we do have lights navigation widgets, which is what I want to take me to the lighting page. For climate at the moment, we don't have that widget. There will be widgets added to this library over time. Um, so I'll just use a normal room navigation widget and we'll just edit the properties there. So we can say that it's for air conditioning. And I'm just gonna write aircon in there. Obviously you've got, that's free text uh, to the size of the widget, but you can experiment with that to get that to work. So I've got my lighting and my climate. Now I need a couple of macros which go on the left. If I go back to the gallery, I can go to my macro widgets. I'm going to put these in there. My top one is called wake up. So let's see, I do have pre-built text out oh, and there is one wake up, super. So I want this to be the sun because we're waking up. 
and I might change the background color to a, a more morning sunshine type color. And then this is my good night. So we do have good night there, otherwise I could have typed it. We've got that, let's maybe change that to a, a darker color. There we go, nice. Okay, so now we need two more navigation need widgets. We need a curtains and a ceiling fan. So ceiling fan, there is our navigation widget that goes to the bottom. And then we have curtains on the drapery and there is my navigation to curtains. So both those widgets we can type in there if we want to put in. Again, do we have curtains? Yes, we do. And this one we'll call fun. Okay, there is my homepage. Now I can go into the properties here. I can say this widget, which page is it supposed to go to? Let's, we've got a page two here. Let's call this page two lights. And then on page one, when I go to this one, I just say you are going to lights and now you just build those pages up okay as an homage to children's television everywhere here's one i prepared earlier so in this one you can see we've got the page it's all built i've got pages for lights climate curtains with all the widgets on there if we go into lights these are presets and i can see it's it's all set up in standard system builder fashion uh, with the sliders and so on. There's my home page, which takes me back to the home page. This is actually uh, a label which you find in the title bar. This one page title that you can drop into there. We will be adding a corporate logo as a graphic, as a custom graphic. Uh, beyond that, you will get a graphics library. And that graphics library is going to become a standard across all our UI that have uh, visual uh, images on the, on the screen. So that's it. And we will be doing more on the System Builder and how to use System Builder with Revolution Display in the future. I uh, look forward to catching up with you on that one. And with that, I'll hand over to Stephen. Thanks, Phil. My favorite widgets there are the new macros, which allow you to create a vibrant tile with a customized icon and label. So whether you're getting ready for bed, you're setting the scene in the boardroom for a keynote presentation, or you're bringing that energy for a gym session, macros help you trigger a series of actions, lighting, climate, curtains, and more in just one tap. An array forms the start of a future design language, which we will use across all of our digital user interfaces. We look forward to adding new widgets to the library and sharing how Array will come to more Dynalight devices later in the year. So with the Revolution Display and the new Array interface, you can create multiple pages of widgets and display them on a slimline all display panel. And users can intuitively interact with a library of consistently designed widgets, selecting lighting scenes, personalizing the dim level, controlling the climate, moving curtains and blinds, and controlling ceiling fans. And we're delighted to share that the new Revolution Display hardware is available for ordering today. Our team have worked hard to produce this device at a price point that allows you to use them across a wide range of projects and budgets. Your account manager will be sharing an updated price book, including this new device with you later in the week. The new Array interface system is included in the quarterly update of System Builder, which you can download from dynalight.com today. So grab your copy, build some screens, and let us know what you think. We can't wait to see the projects you create.